Hello. So today um, I'm here with another video on showing you how to measure radioactivity uh, inside or outside your house. If you're worried about um, the presence of radioactivity, I highly recommend that you get this uh, GQ Gager counter. Uh, the model number that I bought is GMC320S. Um, and as you can see that it is showing um, currently um, a count per minute as 21 count per minute and sometimes it goes down and up because that radioactivity is everywhere you shouldn't be alarmed but if um, it is not within the safe range which is about you know 7 to um, say 50 then you need to do further verifications to identify the source uh, professionally and then um, if the radioactivity is identified, then you have to take action. So this is a simple uh, device that you could buy off of Amazon um, GMC 320S. And as you can see today, right now, it's showing around between 20 to say 25 counts per minute. Um, so the way this works is that this has a Geiger Mueller tube inside, the radiation enters the tube and the tube is filled with, um, uh, sealed with gas and when the radiation enters the gas tube it takes out an, an electron um, and the electron hits the side of the tube and then this um, measures the number of atoms hitting the side of the tube and that's the display you see, you see here. So just to show you, um, you know, that there could be some substances or items in your house that you may not be aware of or radioactive, such as uh, smoke detectors. Smoke detectors use um, a radioactive substance called americium um, to, to uh, detect smoke um, and then alarm based on that. So if I take this, um, um, GQ Geiger counter near a smoke detector you should um, see a spike in the counts per minute and um, you know these particles generally don't travel too far and you shouldn't be alarmed because smoke detectors are not next to your uh, head or body it's generally mounted on the ceiling or on the side of the wall but just for just to demonstrate I'm gonna take it to the smoke detector um, and and show you so here is a smoke detector that I have in my apartment um, and I'm gonna place the Geiger counter um, on top of that just to show you if um, it can detect any spike or if there is any um, americium radioactive substance in this. So as you can see clearly that the moment I placed it on the, um, on the smoke detector, it, it is spiking, <laughs> it's spiking fast. Uh, it's nothing alarming yet, but uh, you know, you really don't want to keep this next to your head or your body. Uh, keep it somewhere, you know, that is not close to humans. Uh, although the radiation level is not that significant, uh, but oh, it just touched 50. Um, it's still not alarming because I guess um, scientifically speaking, anything below 150 is considered um, safe. I mean, although not that safe, but considered safe because they got to have an upper limit for safety. But if it crosses the um, 150, then you really got to be concerned because then it's in the dangerous uh, radioactivity zone and they really could uh, cause mutations or cause cancer. Um, so a really nifty device to own and have around um, to, to see if um, there is uh, any radioactivity, um, but this proves that this smoke detector particularly, um, you know, has a americium and it is um, you know, emitting radioactive particles that are being sensed by the uh, Geiger Mueller tube inside this um, uh, GQ GMC 320S. So I hope this video demonstration uh, helped you in some way, shape, or form. Uh, the maximum CPM count per minute that I saw today was probably 64 or 65, I don't remember, but at least it, it shows that, yeah, there is a clear spike. All right, thank you, good day.